Hello, my name is Amanda Gogan, and today I'll be explaining how to use discovery education in your classroom and for any professional development that you might be interested in. First, you want to go to Google, type in discovery education, and it should pop up. Click on it, and welcomediscoveryeducation.com will be the one. Your district should have given you a login password, and so you want to enter that in. It will come up here in the top where it has your username and password. I am already logged in because it's automatically saved in my computer. Um, then what you want to do is you can look at your personal page. So you can go to what's My DE or My Discovery Education and click there. And here you can log um, your content that you like from Discovery Education. Um, there's builder tools that you can use to create assignments, quizzes, uh, writing prompts. And so those are some of the options that you can have. Um, and you can click into it. It's a very easy program that will show you how to directly create new assignments. It'll also save assignments that you've created. Um, also, you can go to my content, which you can see here. I mostly use this for videos for my classroom. Um, and so I've saved a couple of videos that I have found and liked. Um, and it's very easy to search your topic that you're interested in. And I will show you how to do that in just a moment. Also, you have a classroom manager, which is very convenient. You can create clusters, uh, class based off of the rosters that have actually been uploaded from the district. Um, which is really convenient and they also have tutorial videos which is very helpful. Um, you can search specific students and see how they're doing. You can log grades based on you know the assignments that you've created with the builder tools um, so it's very convenient for you. Also there is the teacher center where you can um, communicate and go to other types of uh, resources through discovery education and continuing learning. And then also, as I said before, there's professional development that is offered through Discovery Education. So you can, you know, find based on what you need here and do it at your time. Um, and so they have some basic things. They also have a lot about the science tech book, which is a new introduction. And so they have some best practices and preps, things like that. So if you're a science teacher, that would be beneficial to you. Um, mainly how I use this is I you know, type in search words, key terms, things like that. And so currently the topics that my students are in is steroids information. And so you can just type in, it'll show you exactly what you want to find and you can narrow down your results based on the service that is offered, which you can click into. So streaming, if it's a tech book, which I'll explain what the tech book is in just a moment. Also subject area. Um, and so I'm a health teacher, so therefore the health becomes important to me and so you can kind of narrow it down as to what they found um, and look through what they have to offer as well. Um, they also have it divided out into grade and so I am a middle school health teacher so I would go through six through eight information and then I'll narrow it down even further um, and things like that. Once you find a video that you like and that you've played, um, so say that you liked this video, you would hit the plus button and then it would now be known as um, a part of your quick list. As you can see in the bottom, it gives you a notification. Um, and so your quick list is down here. So you can click on that. And these are my two quick list sections. So I can just click into that anytime once I log in to show a video to the, to the class or to a specific student. Um, so it's very easy to get to. Um, some other things that I can show you. So you can narrow it down on the side here. The other things I wanted to show you was about the tech book. So you can look here. Uh, tech book specifically um, only for um, science, social studies. Um, so if that applies to you, this would be extremely helpful. You can look at the specific topics and units they have. Um, so we'll click into, let's see, earthquakes and volcanoes. They have the different concepts that you want to understand. So where earthquakes occur. Um, and then they have different lessons based on the standards in science. And they have sessions. They break it down for preparation for the teacher, materials that you may need to prepare, such as, um, you know, the worksheets or things onto a different Web 2.0 tool, such as Google Docs or something like that. Um, and it clearly explains it for you. Uh, this is just a kind of a general overview, but I would be willing to sit down with you and see how it could benefit specific topics that you teach about. Um, so that was science. You can check out social studies. And social studies, again, has, you know, some units and chapters that it relates to. Um, has some good visuals that will help you to um, visually show those students um, some information and things like that. And you can click into more concepts. So the three colonial regions. 
and there's lesson outlines based on. Um, I found that their lessons are very um, engaging. It gets the students up and learning, um, and it's a lot of independent learning, which is really nice. The teacher can walk around and facilitate um, things like that, and so and DE resources, so I can give you some more resources based on continuing what you have gotten from their resources um, and their units. So that's some other information that's there for you. Um, and then the Discovery Educator Network. This is another great way to involve yourself with the community, connect to other teachers, um, to be able to use resources and professional development. So continuing learning, always great. Yeah, and so it explains in more detail here. If you have any questions, you can contact me and I can make sure that you have your information or find someone to give you your login information. Um, and then, like I said, you can kind of organize in your personal content area here um, and, you know, identify people in the school, tools that you use. Um, and so that's great. It also has a feed that kind of tells you up-to-date information here um, and services, community pieces. Yeah, so it's just a great resource for you to have as a teacher. And pretty much most districts um, have Discovery Education as a resource for the teachers, especially science and social studies, because the tech book is extremely helpful um, and very up to date. So that's a positive thing. So again, if any questions, please contact me. Amanda Go. thank you.